Hey everyone, this is Andre Pearson. Welcome to my channel, Why Does Love Hurt So Good? Today I'm going to talk about some of the reasons why men cheat. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified on all the latest videos that I post. Let's get started. Now, as you know, there are many reasons why men cheat. Now, before I continue, let me say this. Some of the things I'm about to share with you may be hard for some women to hear, handle, and accept. So don't blame me, I'm just a messenger. The first reason that a man would cheat on his woman is the fact that he's not ready for a committed relationship. A lot of men who display this kind of behavior often thinks and believes that more is better. If you ask most men about this, they will be the first ones to say, I don't give a damn what y'all say. Ain't nothing natural about no monogamy. God did not intend for us to be with just one person. Y'all know as well as I do, ain't nothing better than some pussy except some new pussy. If sex is all your man talks about, it means he has a lack of balance. Without balance in your relationship, this man will always feel that he is missing something. The next reason on my list of why most men would cheat on you is the fact that they have no connection with you beyond sex. Most men who cheat still need emotional connections with you. If not, they will find someone they feel more connected with. Men with roaming eyes give you a clue and let you know right off the bat that they're thinking about cheating. And when you confront them with this, first thing they say to you is, Now I'm just looking. <laughs> Nothing wrong with just looking. I'm a man, ain't I? Does this sound selfish to you? Yes, and you're right, it is. Some men who connect mentally with you first and emotional later will feel what they found with you is what they need and they'll give you what you want. All because he knows sex with you is more than just something to do. What he's found you to share is much more and means much more than just sex. Now let me be honest with you because most men won't. Like most women, men need validation as well. And when they don't receive it from you, they will create a reason to go cheat to get it from someone else. And when you catch him, like most women do, you will say to them, I don't care what happened. You should have never let it get that far. You made her think she could. Why do you even talk to her anyway? Now standing there feeling like Boo Boo the Fool, he will respond, I don't know. It's because, look, she talked to me. You don't be talking to me. I talked, she asked me how I'm doing. She asked what's going on. Where you at? Now feeling like a fool and the fact that he's about to lose you, he will cut you off before you can respond and say, Baby, look, look. I tell you, you look beautiful every day. I say that because I mean it. And I want you to know that I see it because I love you. I care about you. And before you can leave him, because that's what he's thinking you about to do, he would turn to you and say, Now, if you want to have a real conversation, we have a real conversation. Now, with all this said, you're hurt. He's hurt. He's feeling foolish. You know he's caught. Yet and still, most women in this situation, you still give him another chance. The next reason why most men will cheat, and I know it sounds crazy to say, they don't want you to go nowhere. In most situations like this, the woman loves the man, and the man knows this. He knows that she loves him from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet, and she will stay and try to fix it regardless of what happens. Now, if you're wondering how do so many men get away with this, the answer is simple. Most women in relationships give 100%, and most men give 50%. And you say to yourself now, that's not right. They both should give 100 Well, here's what the man knows if the woman loves him truly. He knows that whatever he is short of, she will make up the difference. And if she makes up the difference, then he knows he can do whatever he wants to do with her and she's not going anywhere. Now, most men who are displaying this kind of behavior, they are telling you love is not enough for them. Now, when they're out cheating, they're not concerned about your feelings. They're not concerned about what they're doing to the relationship. They're not concerned about anything else but their own personal needs. Now, what I want women that's listening to this today to do for me is this. Stop buying the man's excuses. Don't let him tell you again that we were just together and things just happened. No, because cheating starts in the mind. They make a conscious decision to do something. They're going to do it. They know the consequences if they are caught, but they really don't care at that moment in time. Because it's like I told you earlier, to most men, they think and believe that more is better. Now, to get you to understand what I'm talking about, let me walk you through a typical cheating conversation. Okay? Follow me on this. Now, for the most part, when women who know their men are cheating on them, for some reason, want to hear them admit it. Anything you want to tell me? Now, looking at you, he knows you got him, and he knows he's caught, but he still say, No, what you talking about? No. Now, the one thing most men don't understand when women ask these questions in a calm tone is the fact that she knows who you cheated with, and she throws you off when she asks you, When's the last time you saw Trin? He's standing there now scratching his head trying to figure out what's going on when he says, It's been a minute. What's up? Now, to pull it on and confuse him more, 
You ask him. What's the minute? Now he's totally confused. He's sitting there now trying to figure out how did you find out that he was cheating and how did you get so much details on who it is he was cheating with? Now, fellas, when a woman gets this detail on her information concerning your cheating on her, she has proof and she's waiting to show you what she knows. There's nothing you want to say. I read your email. I know you were with Trina. And of course, like most men, they are going to stick to the lie. I thought we were good. I thought we were making progress. I thought yeah, we I were... What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? When he's caught, he gets defensive. I'm going I... through my shit. If I didn't look for it, I wouldn't know. You would have me walking around here looking stupid. Now he's saying all this as if it's an excuse. Have me walking around here believing in you, believing that we're working things out, that you're going to be the family man that you promised me you was going to be. Now, if you're one of these guys who is doing this to your woman and you're wondering why she tells you. We just had this conversation about what we were dedicating our time and our energy to and you pouring into some other bitch. You know the woman that you hurt loves you when she says to you. I'm sitting here worried sick about you going out. Something happening to you. At least I know where your energy is going. Now, for the men that cheated, they would have the audacity to wonder why she said. Why do you keep doing this? What is it in you? You were there. You went to her home when you should have brought your ass here. Now, I know most women who are listening to this video now are asking themselves. When are you going to do right? When are you going to tell the truth? When are you going to repay my loyalty, my honesty, my fidelity, my trust? Same. When is it going to happen? Because I'm tired. The sad thing about this kind of situation is these kind of men will continue to try to turn it around and make it look like it's your fault. Everything I fucking do is a problem. I'm cutting niggas off for you. A motherfucker that got my back, they not searching for shit. You know what they doing? They searching how to make me fucking better. When he's caught, he start to put on his own defense. You know why I went to another bitch? You know why I went to another bitch? Tell me. You wanna know why? Because that, bitch because that bitch listen. Because that bitch You don't listen. listen. Now I know most men are listening thinking that I'm putting them down. But listen, let's be honest with each other. We know as men, that if we have an issue or problem, we should talk it out with our woman. But here's the problem. Because we're not really used to doing so, we go do things our way, which end up making a mess of things and try to explain our way out of it. Listen to me. No. Listen Paul, to me. Trina, let you that right bitch now. raise your kids. Listen. Don't talk so you, to me like that. What you mean? Let her raise my I'm good. I'm good by my fucking self. Is you for real? The bottom line for most men in this situation when they're caught, the only thing they have left to say. You worry about abroad? My man ain't thinking about that. When I wake up, my job is to take care of my family. That's not a blueprint. That's no fucking uh, a role guy for me. This is the reason why it's so important that you communicate to your woman if you love her before you do something stupid. The conversations you need to be having are here. You talking about people having your back. You talking about people taking care of you. You talking about your worries and your fears. Lay those here. The last reason on why most men will cheat on you has to do with a man's pride and ego. Now, I can say this for the simple fact that men that cheat are weak men and they don't deserve a loyal woman. Now, I know some women listening are saying, you have no accountability ever. Now, for most men, it's their pride and ego that gets them caught. What's this? I can't believe I fell for all that shit you was talking the other night. How about how you going to do right by me and how you not going to cheat no more? How you not going to hurt me? Keep breaking my heart, stepping on it and shit. Now, I know some of the things that I'm saying about this is going in one ear and out the other. But men, listen. You can't have a solution until you start dealing with the problem. What you reveal, you heal. If you understand. The hardest thing is seeing pain on someone's face that you cause and then have to deal with yourself. Yeah. Most people don't want to do that. Yeah. And so you walk away. Think about the big picture. People act out in this way based on their life experiences. So there you have it. The many reasons why men would cheat. If you like this video, be sure to take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like and share it with your friends and family. I'm Andre Pearson. I'll see you next time.